Hello YouTube. I'm doing this video entirely to show you how to make good and appropriate backups on a regular basis of your system for most home users and some offices and stuff if you have a computer set up there. This process is actually very simple, very easy, and this particular one I'm going to show you how to use Windows backup to create a complete image of your entire system so if your computer goes down if you have your Windows 7 disk you can restore from a backup and more importantly you can restore from a backup image to have your system right back up and running exactly where it was at to the last image most of them I set up for monthly but if your system if you change a lot of files on a regular basis you might want to set it up to do it weekly uh, you can set it pretty well however you want you can even set it up to do daily if you absolutely think that's necessary and it'll actually go in delete the original create a new copy a new backup and all you have to do is get an external hard drive you can pick one up at Walmart you can go to Amazon all you gotta do is search for external hard drives you have a lot to choose from and general rule of thumb if you have a 500 gigabyte hard drive you probably want to get a 500 gigabyte external just in case you completely fill it up it will compress the files but sometimes the compression isn't that great so sometimes your backup is going to come out about the same size as what's actually on your hard drive and you can pick up any size really I mean you can even get up to a 4 terabyte external drive and you just want to hook it up to the back of the computer you can also pick one up from Newegg, but you're going to want to hook it up to the back of the computer. So there's a 4 terabyte right there. And one of the USB ports that, um, you know, you, you can set the drive up somewhere where it'll get air, it'll stay cool. And most importantly, you just completely forget that it's even there. Let it do its thing, let it run its backups. So now that you know that you can get one pretty well anywhere in any various size for various prices let's go in and configure the backup and get that up and running so the first thing you want to start type in backup and it'll bring up backup and restore click on that and whenever you have the hard drive hooked up granted yeah I'll show you real quick it's gonna pop up a little pop-up box asking you what I want what you want to do with it Okay, there's the sound indicating it connected and it'll come up with the autoplay just close that out then you're going to go to setup backup okay and then select where you want to save your backup so in this case you're going to want to click whatever drive it was that you connected up or you can even save it to a network location if you have a network but with a USB drive you're going to want to select that drive you connected and hit next click let me choose and hit next and the reason I said click let me choose is because shared libraries right here is going to be selected you want to deselect that just make sure that your uh, Charles or your your documents your libraries and the backup data for newly created users are both selected and down here you want to make sure that include a system image of the drives uh, system image of drives is system reserve primary C is selected that'll create a complete and total image of your entire hard drive exactly as it is this makes it very nice for a restore these right here are the backup of your data for newly created users and your libraries are actually your personal documents so that way if you have files that change on a regular basis that's great it's gonna back those right up and you are set so select next and then right here you can set your schedule change schedule see what I was saying about daily weekly or monthly I'm gonna set it to run the backup monthly on the first at oh I'm normally up and around after about two o'clock so we're gonna say 3 p.m. and with this setting it'll go through do the backup run the backup create the backup and it will do this every single time 
and you just click the save settings and run backup and now it's going to save your backup settings and then it's going to go through and run it for the first time and you can see right here where it's creating the copy and everything else and it'll go through and it'll just do the backup and it'll overwrite every single time and create a new copy now you can go through and if like I said if you had the Windows 7 disk you can also create a restore disk either way but if you have your main Windows 7 disk whenever you first pop it in you have the option to restore from a backup especially if you go to repair and you can actually restore from this backup and you'll be right back from exactly where you're at and it'll save you a lot of time and I'm running on that schedule it'll sit there it'll override it every single time it's going to sit there and go through and keep the backup updated. It'll stay fresh, current, and if your system goes kapla, you haven't lost anything. This is a method I highly recommend. And like I said, it's one of those that you can literally just set it and forget it. And then if all else fails and something happens, you're not completely lost and everything will be there. Thank you for watching. If you know anyone that this could actually help out, please feel free to refer them to my channel or this video. And by all means, you know, if it's going to help them out, it's going to help them out. You know, backups are highly important. It keeps you from losing all your data and losing absolutely everything. As always, watch, like, and share. Have a good day.